Exercise 41, question 4. The formula reads, little m equals mu, this symbol here, Greek letter mu, part of the Greek alphabet, mu l over l plus r c r. And I have to rearrange for l. So again, we have a situation where L appears more than once. So factorising is going to come into it somewhere. But the first job is, I would suggest, get rid of the L plus R, C, R underneath by multiplying both sides by that whole term. And then go from there. So see if you can complete the question. At any point, you can pause, look at the video, pause it, and then try and carry on. So multiplying both sides by that term underneath gets rid of it. And we have little m multiplied by that term equals mu l. Now I'm going to multiply out the bracket, and then I'm going to try and get all terms involving capital L, big L, on the same side. So have a go. So multiplying out m l plus m r c r equals mu l. So now I'm going to bring the mu L over to the, well, probably take the mu ML over the other side, actually. So MRCR equals mu L minus ML. Now factorizing MRCR equals L into mu minus M. Incidentally, at this point here, when I said I'm going to actually bring the little m l term over to the right hand side, it was so that the m r c r term here that I was left with is positive. Um, you can still work it through if you'd have taken it the other way, but it just makes it a bit easier for signs. That's why I changed the, brought the little m l over to the right hand side. So now I've factorised, I can divide both sides by mu minus m. So I get m r c r over mu minus m equals l. And so finally, just write it with the subject of the formula on the left. By convention, mu minus m which I presume is the answer in the textbook.